You know, we talk to a lot of guys every year, and I find it funny that each year of the new season, everybody can't wait to go out and get a brand new bow, but they forget about their release. You know, you see some of these guys are shooting these old releases that's 10, 12 years old and just about to fall apart. And I think people underestimate how important it is to have a good release when it comes to your shooting and how your accuracy is going to be and your consistency. You know, we shoot Scott releases, and there's an obvious reason for that. They've been around forever. They're a guaranteed deal, man. I mean, these things are 100%. Uh, American made, they've got a can't beat it guarantee, which means if it's something breaks or something happens, they'll either replace it or fix it, no questions asked, and get it back to you. You know, it's very important when you go to look at a Scott release to see which one you would like to have. This is mainly preference, but uh, they've got three different styles of connectors. They got a nylon strap that'll basically allow that release to just kind of fall down on your arm as you're climbing or doing whatever you want to do in, in a deer stand using your grunt calls or what have you. And they've got a uh, solid one, which is basically a hard shaft that runs all the way from the end of release all the way back to the uh, connector to the strap. Then they've got a hybrid that is a little bit of both, you know, which is obviously that kind of explains itself. So um, the other thing, there's several different types of clasp you can get. You can get the double clasp, the single clasp, or the one that's got just a hook, like the saber hook. Um, there again, a lot of these are just preference. Uh, there's a little bit of advantages one way or the other, but it's really just figuring out what fits best for you. Uh, one thing I tell people all the time, just don't go buy a new release, strap it on your wrist, and start shooting your bow and make yourself fit the release. Make the release fit you. Scott releases cater to that very well. Everything, and I mean everything, on these releases adjust. Uh, you can adjust the strap, you can adjust the trigger pull, and I tell people, once you get it where you know it's where you like it, where your anchor point's the same every time, and it's time for you to set your trigger. And when you set your trigger, when you set your trigger, you can set the poundage on it. Uh, this isn't like shooting a rifle. You're not gonna have a bunch of pull, a bunch of pull, and then it goes off. Um, there's no travel in these triggers when they go off. So what you're gonna, what you wanna look for, uh, they've actually roughed up uh, the trigger themselves to where you've got a good grip. You want that, you want it to fall right on the end of your index finger. Uh, I usually like to put mine right about uh, in the crease of your finger right there at that last knuckle to where it's comfortable and when you decide you're ready for that shot and you just start applying a little bit of pressure it'll go off instantly. Uh, for you guys that don't like it quite as tight you can take a, a allen screw and actually adjust the sensitivity and adjust the poundage on it uh, but the main thing is once you get a release that you're comfortable with you get it adjusted to fit you uh, it becomes second nature uh, just like shooting your bow it becomes second nature and you can hold on to that new release for years uh, it will last you. Uh, look into a Scott releases, like I said, uh, we use them and there's reasons for that. They've never let us down. We trust them 100% and we think they do a good job for you as well.